On Wednesday nights, our church comes together for what we refer to as our encounter Bible study. And right now, we're in the book of Acts, looking at what it means to be a church with a mission. Now, one night I asked this question, what does total commitment to the gospel look like in a person who is not gifted as an evangelist or a missionary? Now, the reason I asked that question is because so many of us read books like the Gospel of Mark, and we see that Jesus and the disciples, and they are preaching, teaching, and healing people, and casting out demons. And the truth is, that does not describe most of us. Most of us are not apostles, pastors, or evangelists. So practically speaking, how do we fulfill Jesus' command to share the gospel, well, with other people, when we don't have that gifting? After all, how can we be great in the kingdom of God if we actually do nothing well to advance the kingdom of God? Here are four quick things to consider. One, know and adopt the mission of your church. You see, here at Nepean, our mission is to invite, empower, and equip everyone to become a fully devoted follower of Jesus Christ. We teach our members how to make that mission their mission. Now, secondly, know and use your spiritual gifts. God will not call you to serve without giving you special abilities to serve. These special abilities are spiritual gifts. Find out what yours is and use it. Now, next, you partner with your church. Find out what it is your church is actively doing to reach the lost and then partner with them. And four, engage in needs-based evangelism. Before Jesus ever preached a sermon, he first demonstrated to people that he loved and cared about them. It is our loving acts of service that are the greatest sermon we will ever preach and will provide people the clearest picture of who God is. Jesus said that if we want to be the greatest in his kingdom, we have to learn to become the servant of of all. You see, love is about putting others ahead of ourselves because we're determined to bless them, benefit them, and add value to their life. It is this kind of love that the religion of Jesus Christ is made of. Well, those were some of our final thoughts and nuggets for this week. Now, we want you to take some time this week to visit your local Adventist church and share with them some of the things you've learned this week about being a disciple in the kingdom of God. And please don't forget to join us next week as Cynthia will share with us some of her thoughts and insights into next week's lesson, Teaching the Disciples, Part 2. I know you won't want to miss it. Well, again, on behalf of all of us here at Sabbath School Nuggets, thank you for joining us this week. Happy Sabbath to come, and God bless.